keep hearing this dog over here. Oh, let's go free him. Poor pup. There he goes. Jumps the fence and see ya. Alright, so you see these uh, here? Yeah, don't trip those. Those will blow you to smithereens. Not a very good aim here. Just killing all these villagers and stuff. <laughs> Insane. Where's this guy? Here, spin around. Oh, he's up there. Two guys up there, but they're not they're not really coming after me. Just kinda hanging out over there. Oh, I hit him somehow. And he's done. Oh, so what I was going to say earlier is I remember using the knife on the boxes um, and some of them have like snakes and stuff in them. So like if you do that, you got to kill the snake immediately or the snake will uh, come after you, which is pretty wild. Uh, we will grab the green herb. Let's go ahead and take it. Oh, uh, no, we wanted this one. But yeah, in any of these, if you guys were expecting them to kind of explain the controls a little bit better as you were playing, it doesn't seem like that's going to happen. Don't think that's in the cards. Oh my god, I did not look at that earlier. That poor, poor woman, or whatever it is. Woman, man. I don't think you can really tell anymore. That poor person. Okay. Good for us. So they're going to run back to the village. Like some some jerk is heading to our village. Oh, there's somebody in there. I saw you. Come on. I'll take you out with a knife. There we go. Save, save some bullets. It's a wooden box. Yeah, we, we know we can break that. Come on. Okay, we're getting all kinds of monies here, which is good. Oh, we got some kind of big gate over here. Look at that. Completely different loading scene. No doors opening. Leon, how you holding up? Bad question, Honigan. Sorry to hear that. I'm sending you a playing manual. Hope you find it useful. I'll take a look at it. Thanks. Now we get the playing manual. So the interesting thing about Resident Evil 4 when it came out, it was it was one of the first games that came out that people remember um, being a game where they completely reimagined it. That is to say, like they completely revamped the the uh, controls, they revamped the aiming, they revamped the graphics, and, the, and a bunch of different other things. You know, um, nowadays I feel like remakes and remasters are just a normal thing. People are like, oh, they rebooted it, and now it's like this. You know, um, but this was like one of the first times, at least in my life, that I remember them rebooting a franchise and it being noticeably a big deal in you know the the gaming community. Um, cause they, they had done it, you know, when they brought things to 3d on the N64 from the NES and stuff like that. Um, you know, when they brought Mario to 3d, that wasn't really much of a reboot. That was more just a continuation of the series. But when they did that now and then it was, it was a cool thing, 
but it didn't always stick the landing where this did. People thought that this was, I mean, this, I think, earned Game of the Year from a lot of different magazines and online publications and stuff like that. But um, this game actually has a lot of history for reinventing uh, Resident Evil, which is really, really cool. All right, so they're talking about control configuration changes are not reflected here. Okay, great. Uh, reloading, press B button while holding ZL to reload your firearm. So I had to figure that out on my own because we've already killed so many dudes like at that point. Oh, you can kick. Kicks uh, approaching enemies that are either stunned or on their knees allow Leon to perform kicks as prompted by the action button. Okay. And changing your inventory screens, use L and R to switch back and forth between the weapons slash recovery and the key slash treasure screens. Okay. I think I can handle that. All right, so we're heading to the village. And I have a very weird relationship with, <laughs> with this portion of the game. Um, I remember when this game came out, I got myself to the village. Oh, they killed the policia. Um, but when I played through this part, or I shouldn't say played through, when I played this part, I died the first time and it scared the crap out of me. And I didn't go back to it for months. I finally went back to it and, and figured out what I had to do. But man, it was, it was, it was pretty scary and you'll see why at the time. It was pretty spooky for me. Oh, she threw it. Shatter in the butt. Oh, I gotta get out of the way of that stuff. Keep running. Still throwing stuff. Climb! We gotta climb. Alright, we're gonna go to... Oh, we do have some stuff there. Status? Oh no, that's the map. Uh, head back. We have gotta use a first aid real quick. Use it. There we go. Whoa! See that? So you can't you can't stay up here for too long because they will come after you. They will throw stuff. Oh Jesus! This may have been a bad, bad plan to come in here. There's nowhere I can go because they keep throwing them. Wait for that fire to die down. There we go. Oh, we can't jump through there. Remember before we can jump through this this may have been the worst decision <laughs> to come up here because there's nowhere for me to go there we go we're gonna run this way keep running so you basically run through this whole town with these people pursuing you And it is just insane, at least to me it is. Where are you? There they are. Oh, got him in the head. Oh, run, run! Oh jeez, I'm gonna die. Use the first aid spray. Uh, nope. Use. There we go. Back to full health. Hopefully run! You hear that? That's a chainsaw. Run. Yeah, run. We'll pick up some gold while we're at it here. Load. Oh, I don't think I can. I am out of 
out of the good stuff. Whoa! Oop, that is not what I meant to do. I am gone on ammo here. Uh, there was a way to climb climb the roof. That is what I'm trying to kind of figure out right now. Whew. Okay, so the first time I did that, almost 15 years ago, it scared the absolute crap out of me. Because you just have to keep going and you basically just have to survive. There's like a timer and eventually that bell rings and then you make it. And that's really all there is to it. But it is crazy. So at this point they all go in there and then you're left to your own devices. I do remember, I, I just heard the guy with the chainsaw. I remember the guy with the Press chainsaw coming after going. me. Bingo. There you go. Lake title card for Resident Evil 4. Pretty cool. And I thought that was great that they did a late, uh, late title card. Onega, I have some bad news. I've confirmed the body of an officer. Something's happened to the people here. Leon, you need to get out of there. Look for a tower and follow the trail near it. Got it. Consider it done. But I am going to search around for stuff because that is what we do here. But we're going to take the yellow herb. Hey, there's another red herb too. Let's see if we can find some ammunition. There was some ammunition at the top of the... Uh... Oh, can I break through this? No, there is a green. Oh, you can take it right through the... Okay. Nice. There is something up there. So, yeah, I remember being chased more and, and getting a ladder and climbing. I don't know if you have to actually go inside the house to do that. We can figure that out right now. Right, there's some ammunition. Take that too. Oop. Reload. There we go. Chickens are not very happy I'm in here. If you can't couldn't already tell. And we're gonna take this. We're gonna take all this awesome stuff. That's why it's worth Worth going around here, just grabbing stuff. We're gonna climb up that tower and get that sh those shotgun shells too, because why not? Wait a minute, was there was there a way to break out the window? Because there's a thing on top of that. It's just fun to do. Break a window, jump through. Yeah, it was on top there. Can you see it up there? You have to drop over to it or something. All right, we're going to climb up here one more time and get that ammunition. Then we'll move on. So yeah, that part of the game uh, freaked me out. I did not remember in any previous game before that being pursued by villagers. And when I died, I think I, I might have given it one more try. Maybe I, I did it twice. I did not know what was going on. I'm like, why am I being chased? Why can't I get away? What's going on here? And uh, I, I am not exaggerating. I literally did not go back to the game for months um, and, and finally figured out, oh, you just got to like keep running and, and hiding and fighting until they are, are eventually called. And that, that's that's kind of how I figured it out. But at the time, like I had no idea what was going on and uh, it, it really freaked me out. It's the first time I honestly remember being that scared <laughs> by a game. Oh yeah, I, for I forgot I can do the uh, 180 turns too. Uh, yeah, let's take that. Take, yes, take, yes. Now we're gonna need that gold because there's the uh, what are you buying guy 
and I <laughs> I miss that guy. Haven't heard from him in quite some time. All right, you can see that you can run on the roofs here. You see that? They got the scaffolding up there. That is what I'm trying to figure out. There's a way to like grab a ladder and get up there. I'm gonna figure this out. 